Hello again. It's been a wet start for many of us, but the worst of the rain will tend to ease slowly later on with heavy showers following and brighter skies, but a lot of cloud out there for the Northern Isles, for southern parts of England and Wales, and an awful lot of rainfall as we start Wednesday. That rainfall continues through the Midlands, central southern England, East Anglia in the southeast throughout Wednesday and into the afternoon. And uh, further rainfall to come for the Northern Isles, uh, strong wind, gales, but those gales do tend to ease later on. In between, there will be some breaks in the cloud, but also frequent heavy downpours, some hail, thunder, some snow over the hills. By the middle of the afternoon, the wet weather becomes confined to East Anglia in the far southeast, and here it's going to feel cold, five, six degrees or so, and it will also feel cold for Shetland, where the rain increasingly turns to snow in places, two or three degrees here. But in the brighter skies elsewhere, perhaps something a little more cheerful. Now, through the evening, the wet weather clears the east, but it lingers there in the Northern Isles and edges back into the far northeast of the mainland. Elsewhere, clear skies developing, showers easing away for a time, and therefore a widespread frost developing, temperatures dipping below freezing. And a chilly start to Thursday, but further showers soon back on the scene for southwest England, south Wales, into central southern England as well. Showers also developing for Northern Ireland and one or two spots elsewhere, but the best of the weather on Thursday into Western Scotland, into parts of Northern England as well. Some decent sunshine to come here and light winds. Not so pleasant in the far northeast where here we've got the rain continuing and some hill snow as well as a strong wind. Feeling cold in the northeast, but feeling a lot more pleasant elsewhere with any sunshine. As we head into the Easter weekend, it's going to stay below average in terms of temperatures and there'll be further showers and outbreaks of rain. There is, of course, more information on the Met Office website via our app and if you follow us on social media. Bye-bye.